Hayes, hi. For those of you who've seen my recipe reveal videos, you probably don't need a pen and paper because it's kind of the same basic recipe, but, but it can. Wait, I have to, I have to have a little taste of this first. It's my vegetable and pasta soup. specifically cut it like in slices I knew it was going to make a sandwich with the meat so I cut it like it's san sandwich slices can you see that and I covered the bottom of the crock pot with um, Italian salad dressing put in the meat cut the meat up in meats and sandwich slices put that on the bottom of the crock pot and then uh, the same vegetables the hard pot So then when you're done with the crock pot, when your meal's finished cooking, you end up with three, three separate dishes, a dish of meat, a dish of the juice that you get, and a dish of the vegetables. And what I did, obviously, with the juice, that's the base for my soup, and I threw it on a bunch of vegetables, then on the side, I cooked up the, these little pastas. I was thinking of making a pasta salad with these little pastas, but they're also good kind of to throw into a soup if you want. So I cooked these pastas on the side. Do you want to I have a really good little soup. Is that what minestrone is? It's like pasta and vegetables mixed. Anyways, you get the idea. And the Parmesan cheese. Be creative, whatever is your favorite flavor. I would throw it in there. Cumin might be good too. Cumin. Okay. Then, I was bad for the sandwich. <coughs> garlic bread for the toast. We got garlic bread last week from the Dollar Tree. Toasted garlic bread. Excuse me. And I didn't even put any any dressing on there. I just used the garlic bread. Toasted that. A little a bit of lettuce on each side with the meat in the middle. Mm. things I would do different. I would slice my meat thinner. After it came out of the crock pot, I would slice my slices thinner. And I kind of like juicy, sloppy sandwiches. So I think I would, after the garlic bread came out of the toaster oven, I think I'd throw on some extra butter on there. So that when I ate my sandwich, the butter would come dripping out. 
That's what I would do. I would definitely add butter to make it juicy. And I would definitely make my slices thinner. If I had a um, meat slicer, I'd probably do it paper thin, but this is okay. Time being. kind of just having fun doing simple things but exploring all the different things you can make with like the simple ingredients I am realizing now that my my meat that I love the most is the chuck roast from, I love the taste of a chuck roast So let's see, what could I ramble about? Mm. Mm. I need to call the internet people. I've been doing my videos in HD now. Oh my gosh, this takes forever. Let's see, I need to call them today. Have you guys noticed I don't, I haven't done one hour videos at night lately because I just, I, I can't get them uploaded if they see like six or seven hours. For a one hour video, even like a half hour, a 30 minute video, it's been taking two to three hours.
start 